Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the uh, weekly contest 424 in Lead Code Zero Away Transformation 1. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, this one, um, it, there's a lot of words, honestly, but um, the way that I would think about it is with uh, a visualization first, right? Let me, uh, let me pull it up real quick. Technology is hard. Hang on. Dude, dude, right. So the idea behind this problem um, is that, um, you know, uh, you have an array with numbers, right? And really, and you have maybe some numbers, and I'm going to write, write the numbers as kind of a, a bar graph, right? Uh, maybe this is, could be a better bar graph. But nonetheless, uh, where the height is just a number, right? And the reason I say this is that now you can think about each query as just uh, an interval uh, where you can choose to subtract one number, right? So that's basically the idea. And you can subtract zero numbers as well, zero or one inside this. Then what, what this means is that, um, what this problem is asking is, is whether um, for, for each index, is there um, at least x... Uh, for each index of height h, say, there are at least h queries that match this uh, number. And there are a couple of ways you can think about this, and this is, you know, the, the idea. But the way that I would generally do about it is with a sweep line, right? Um, yeah. Um, and there, there, you can also do it with a prefix sum, which is actually what I did. But but you can do it with a sweep line. You can do it with a prefix sum idea. On the, on the on a difference array, right? And the difference array, the idea here is that on each query interval, let me change the color actually. On each query, okay, I lied about changing the color apparently. How come it didn't tick? Hmm. That's really weird, actually. Something is like, okay, well. I don't know, what is going on? Okay, there we go. I don't know what, what happened there. My apologies. But anyway, you look at uh, 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 a range or a query, and then you just set plus one here, and then minus one here. And what that does is that if you kind of do a prefix sum later, then that means that all this sum will be one, which it, which basically allows you to say that there's one here, right? But if you add, you know, there's another plus one here, there's another plus one here, so then technically this would be one and one, and which adds up to be three, for example. And that's the idea behind this um, algorithm, right? Is And yeah. And with that, it should be pretty straightforward um, to kind of see. Um, the way that I, I write it is that I am exclusive on the right side, on the end side. So then I, on the start, I do a plus one, on the end, I do a minus one. So also as a result, I need an n plus one space with just zeros, um, where f sub i is the number of queries that o overlap with the nums on index i, right? And then here I just roll them up to doing a prefix sum. The the beauty of this is that um, this is all of Q and this is all of N um, because that's just the size of um, the frequency array or the the index uh, uh, sum, right? And then now basically we check if all of them are at least this number. And there is a harder version of this where you're forced to choose ones, but I think that ends up being like a set cover, which is NP complete or something, uh, or some variation on that. I, I could be wrong, or a li but mostly right, probably. If not, let me know in the comments. But yeah, but so as a result, yeah, if, if this is greater than, that means that we don't have enough queries, and all you need is one of them to fail, so it becomes false. Otherwise, this is true, and that's pretty much it. This is all of N, this is all of N, this is all of Q, this is of n space, and that there you have it. Um, yeah, I was able to do this problem in about three minutes because I think this, um, honestly, this is probably something that's relatively standard in um, in competitive programming. But I would also say that this is a, kind of a little bit tough on the interview side, if, if you ask me, because it's just like very uh, specific. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest next. Because my computer is a little bit slow. Maybe it times out. Maybe I should have tested it. Okay, fine. I don't know why my computer is a little bit slow, actually. Eh. Alright, let's just finish. I should have restarted before, but whatever. Uh, well.
that, that was five minutes. I'm being slow. Okay, let's go. I'm too distracted a little bit. There's one and two. They seem different. So, okay, let's look at this one first. For each query, subset of indexes. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, mm, I guess I don't, this doesn't need to be this. I mean, that could be way easily. Um, I'm trying to be careful more these days. Okay, so one, two, three, or something. Okay, that, look, that feels right. Whether it is right, we'll see, I suppose. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, these contests, or everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.